Okay. Extermination. Straight ahead from the start, down the hill, look for equipment and a floodlight near a tree. I mean, I... They're nests, and the ants tend to hang out near the nests. So if we're lucky, I can just immediately start uh, melting them to the ground. Yeah, watch the Apocalypse have a rank A version. It either has a rank A or a double A version. Damn bugs! I thought they were dropping dead. Yes, but this area is relatively warm, owing to the recent volcanic activity. It looks like the giant creatures are gathered here for that reason. In other words, if we exterminate the ones here, that will be most of them. Yes. Lightning's field support will begin soon. Surround the giant creatures and exterminate them. Balls. Stay focused, closer. Check it out. Look at those nests. This won't end until we take out that nest. That should take out that nest. You know, honestly, the space laser might might have straight up been better than this. I... that didn't even kill it. Alright, bailing. Bailing, bailing. There's better guns than this. It... I like the idea of the Apocalypse launcher, but I think... oh right, it is D-rank. Its damage isn't actually that amazing. So, we're just going to, uh... we're just gonna go with the other options. I've got a couple. One, we could do full-on sp... uh, well, let's switch... let's switch to the Heavy Striker. And let's switch away Yo, from the apocalypse. So, go? we have the space laser. Or alternatively, we could just grab one of our sweet rail guns. What I really want is the, uh, the arabesque too. Because it's more or less just... Absurd. Uh. Yeah, let's just bring the arabesque. And do we go Hastings? Nah, let's not do Hastings. Let's go back to the laser cannons. L let's bring our our rad gun. I'm still using C rank gear on hard mode right at the end of the game the rank A satellite weapon. It drops like a, a meteorite on something, but it actually doesn't do that much damage. It's okay, but it's more of like a gimmick pre-order DLC thing, which is unfortunate. I was hoping it would be more awesome than it was. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna snipe it out. Should work. And if that doesn't work, lasers, and if that doesn't work, then, I don't know, we bail and switch to a different weapon. Anywho. Okay, so this one's the closest. Dead bugs. I thought they were dropping dead. Yes, but this area is relatively warm, owing to the recent volcanic activity. It looks like the giant creatures are gathered here for that reason. In other words, if we exterminate the ones here, that will be most of them. Yes. Lightning field support will begin soon. Surround the giant creatures and exterminate them. Okay, so those ants are on fire. We'll let those guys fight them. Oh, good. More zombie ants. That's okay. This should work. Go get the drone. I was going to take out the first couple of uh, hives first. Because I know exactly where the drone is. So, like, it's not a huge priority here. Because it's right down here.
Am I hitting it? I am most definitely hitting it. Okay. Yeah, so, like I said, since I know exactly where the drone is, it's not huge. More zombies. This is lightning. Arrived at mission area. Initiating attack. Blast team, stay back. Roger. Give him hell. Captain, hope you're watching this. What are they shooting? There's no end to these critters. I... Okay, did that get it? That got it. Alright. Well, that was easy enough. Ow. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna rail off into the universe. We do have to worry a little bit about damage here. Because, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not a, uh... I'm not good at group clearing for a moment. Oh, wait, now I am. Please stop. Please desist. Excuse me, I would like your finest crystals. I... I really wish there was actually, like, a, a lance. Oh, God, that would be amazing. Cooling terminal unit. Like, how rad would it be if you could actually get, like, a straight-up lance as the, uh, as the heavy striker? And so when you do, do your, like, charge, uh, I know there are enemies over here somewhere. There we go. Just try this again. There we go. Most of them are dead. Not all of them, but enough. I'd say, but yeah, if you could get a lance, so when you're charging forward like that, you're actually just like, just smashing into things. Like, how rad would that be? Sadly, no mechanics for it. Well, there probably is a mechanic for it. There could have been a mechanic for it. It just, I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's so many things that you could do with these mechanic, uh, these mechanics, these, uh, these classes. And, like, you can kind of do that in EDF, uh, EDF 5. You know, the, the, the melee dash combos. But you're not really, like, just battering, ramming straight through everything. as some kind of, like, churning weapon of destruction. And I think that's what I want, because that's what I was doing with my, uh, APCs. And it was amazing. Uh, that's actually also what I do in, uh, Monster Hunter World, now that I'm thinking about it. Just charging forth and destroying everything. Like, I don't know. I think it'd be fun. That's part of the reason why I'm, like, hoping to make an EDF Iron Rain. Uh, Iron Rain 2, sorry. Aggressive signals. Enemy reinforcements. There's more! All units, brace yourselves! Because I feel like if we actually had an Iron Rain 2... With, like, some of this... Some feedback and improvements and whatnot... It would be obscene. I don't know what's going on. Things are on me and dying. Out. Okay. Whoop. Damn. I'm getting run over repeatedly as soon as I get back up. Wow. 
Uh, this sucks a bit. Okay, the rail the rail gun seems way more effective against the green bugs. Probably for the best. Okay, I want to kill the scorpions. Hell yeah, railgun. Okay, so far so good. Just a little worried. But yeah, it looks like the uh, green bugs have a resistance to energy damage. It's either energy damage or uh, energy damage is counted as fire. I'm not sure. Either way, railguns are not counted. So I can just, uh, I can just gun murder. I think I just got a twofer. I like twofers. Let's grab these smidgely bits of health. Okay, do we got a round three? Okay, there's one down. I don't know where the other one is. It'll have to wait. Well, this is amazing. And this is only a twenty percent. A full discharge could even take rest. Okay, let's go after what's left. I already killed one of them. Give me some credit. These Igazus are amazing, by the way. Okay, let's switch back to the railgun. Hopefully we can get some more, like, rapid fiery railguns. Oh yeah, they're both dead. Oh, it's a uh, bunch of undead scorpions all over the place. Apparently, one of the those was vaguely alive. Well, alive is maybe a, a bit of a misnomer given the situation, but that's okay. Bammo. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to go to, go to town on that one. Turns out, uh, it uh, it was going to die anyway. I feel a bit wasteful, but then again, it was pretty fun to just eliminate one of them with a uh, full laser charge and like I was saying earlier this is only a C rank meaning there's there's a B and an A rank version of the uh, of the guns that I'm rolling right now well we already have the uh, the B rank arabesque unlocked so I think I'm gonna grab that next Is that guy just playing dead? I think they do actually play dead. Huh. But yeah, we need all this. We need all this red. Excuse me. Get out of here. All right. We. Okay, so what do we got over here? We got everything. I thought we were kind of screwed going into this. I was like, oh, it's some nets. Oh, it's work, some more enemies. Good oh, work, Godzilla's. Nobody can mess with us. But the answer is no. No, we're doing fine. I 
this feels a lot more positive. Like, I know this is supposed to be the darker and grittier uh, EDF game, but compared to EDF 5, where, like, the last mission you were literally just on your own, uh, this actually feels very positive, and I think we only have a couple of missions left. Which might also just mean they had a lower budget and could only do so much with this game, but, eh, whatever. Oh, was that 80,000? I think that was 80,000. That's an exciting amount of money. Yeah, I might actually be able to get up to 10k Just HP. Got a new weapons list. Biker jeans. And we got two assault rifles, a missile launcher, and a laser rifle. Don't care about those too much. So showdown at Badlands. It looks like it's a lot of air gooners. Well, let's go equipments. Uh, Yo, let's soldier. see. Where Do we replace the arabesque? So lower ammo, longer reload, but buttloads of damage. Yeah. Awesome choice. Okay, and we also want to go customize clothing. Lower body. Uh, let's see. There they are. Biker jeans. They... Uh, yeah, actually, sure. That shows off the wander butt pretty well. <laughs> it looks so dumb. I always look so dumb. That's, I mean, that's, that's just default here. I yeah, never thought I'd see a game use Bombardier Beatles as an enemy. Well, EDF had, well, I mean, obviously EDF has always just been insects as like the common enemy type. Personally, I'm, I'm a big fan of it just because it's a nice change of pace. I really liked the roller beetles in uh, EDF 5 as well, which makes me think my criticism of uh, of EDF having, or EDF Iron Rain having really CC heavy enemies. I am wrong. Those roller beetles were absurd. Reports, aggressors are concentrated in this area. In addition to those that gathered from across the country, some even came by crossing the Pacific Ocean. We have Verbena on our side. This is our chance to exterminate them, once and for all. The Rebellion's got your back, Vlastin. Rebellion on our side? I like the sound of that. Oh, do not stand in front of me, Dinglehop. What's the status of the mission to lure Rasnid to the west coast? The creature should arrive at the mission area in seven hours. Good. Prepare to gather all EDF soldiers at Area A-05. Yes, sir. Commander-in-Chief, will we really be able to defeat Rasnid? That's the only way we can survive. I surmise that Rasnid is not yet in its complete form. This will be our only chance to defeat it. What do you mean? While everywhere around the Pacific is facing devastating cold because of Rasnid, Volcanoes with their own okay, one second. So this is mission 49, located at the gas station parking lot, right behind the first wave of enemies. All right, well, that's easy enough. On the sea have been highly active. We assume this is because it is trying to change the Earth's environment to suit itself. In other words, terraforming. Precisely whether this abnormal is unprecedented. That's why Rasni has no resemblance to any organism on Earth. Nor would anything on Earth be able to survive in the environment where it came from. The fact that we are alive means Rasni is still incomplete. Of course, this is all guesswork. This car, I, you know, I was actually complimenting how vehicles handle in this game. I want to say, uh, now that I'm in an actually fast vehicle, I realize just how bad the driving is. It is very sensitive. If I try and turn right, sometimes it just turns left. And it's entirely based on whether or not I'm supposedly going forward or backwards. So I, I have to go forward. There's no, like... I mean, admittedly, turning in place isn't really a doable thing in a car. They're like but tanks. Also, it has some issues. Signal on the 
radar. <sighs> We're really between a rock and a hard place. Engage them! Okay. Damn it. What are we up against? Oh. Fatal error. Fatal mistake. You goof, son. Oh, I didn't kill this one. I guess I got a hit with both. Alright, there we go. No more spawn ships. Wow. That kind of trivializes everything. <laughs> I don't know if that's the mission. That's probably not the mission. But yeah, those spawn ships just like to show up and they just immediately explode. It is magic. Like, there is no understating how overpowered some of these guns are in this game. Or just how weak. The, like how low the enemy pools are? I'm not entirely sure. These are some amazing creatures. Wait, are they even living? I'm just gonna walk around steaming, having a good time while everybody else is finishing that last dude off. I have done my job. Don't you dare complain, EDF. But yeah, I think part of it is also, uh... A horde of Ravagers. Be careful. So it's us? Against all these guys? Give up? <laughs> Just fooling. I got more in me. So unlike previous EDF games, I don't have to aim up to hit these. I can just shoot. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to hit that one, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. It was just too far away. No, it's not. There we go. I'm going to stop him in their tracks. I know they like to say, don't shoot the pods. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to be over here for a second. I prefer the golden ships from Media 5 to these. I think I agree, but I got to give credit where credit is due. Like... Like, out. There we go. I gotta give him credit. It is really nice to be able to hit them from anywhere other than just straight below them. Next, this would be much harder if it weren't for this railgun, I think. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit that one. Okay, that one just spawned. Yeah, we're going to have to get through the Ravagers first. That's okay. Oh, well, maybe not all of the Ravagers, but some of them. They take a little bit to get moving, which is nice. Okay, 
This would be a good mission for getting uh, Red Crystal on, maybe. Is this game good? I think it's fantastic. Not everybody's going to agree with me. Compared to EDF games, I would say it's like either a side grade or a slight downgrade from 5, which is like a really tough call for me. And it's determined largely just based on... Um, uh, determined largely based on like mission structure and length. Like I like the uh, the lore they're going for on this one. The story is better. Not that EDF really had. What's your? This Christ. isn't funny. Rounded larvae. This bastard again? We say desperation breeds ingenuity. Now's one of those times. All units, brace yourselves. <laughs> Let's see. Because, yeah, EDF, EDF 5 was twice as long. But... And... I don't know. It's like it was twice as long, but I don't... I would not say it was nearly close to twice as good. It had a lot of things that added... It, it added a lot to the new... Uh, a lot of new things to the genre, to the series, that, like, were serious positives. But I would I would say EDF Iron Rain does very similar things. Oh, there are more spawn ships. Great. Actually, it's just all of the spawn ships again. Okay, you're open, but you're... You're not. Okay. Am I in range? Yeah, I am. On, reload faster. No spawn ships on my watch. Okay, there they go. I'm here, you turtly bastard. Show me your eye. Stop turning like that. It's unsettling. Why are you spinning? I give up. I'm assuming I'm hitting it. There we go. That is weird. Okay, those guys are just going to be over there. I want to go collect as much as I can. Where's the big battlefront missions with lots of a allies and vehicles? We have to admit these new classes and weapons are great. Yeah. I, there's more? Okay, well, at least I'm staying at full health here. Okay, so let's grab these. I still haven't gone over overdrive, which is nice. I'm gonna make sure I grab everything, because this is a damn good mission. Port. Oh, well, I screwed up. Oh, well. Bammo. Nope, no bammo. I was hoping for Bamo. Okay, let us scoot. How many enemies do you even have at this point? Oh no. Ow. I really hate these guys and their stupid pickaxe heads. Okay, you must go down. I want nothing to do with your your dumb business. All right, there we go. Okay, next up, can I hit that? No, but I can hit you. Yeah, the less the less enemy drops that keep falling on my head, the better. There we go. Like. It's it's hard to I guess it's hard for me to like put into words exactly. But this game if EDF5 could be of this caliber, 
in every gar regard, I think it would be the vastly superior one. Because, like, the weapons in this game feel better. Just baseline. There's there's no contest there. There are a couple of really satisfying weapons in EDF... Uh, in EDF 5. But many of them had, like, weird drawbacks that I didn't really appreciate that much. Ah! Uh, I guess I will admit... The shotguns and assault rifles in this one felt, ba felt bad. And the sniper rifles have been kind of meh on. Uh, I guess I will also admit, I do... Cripes! There's more? There are more. Well, uh, let's see. Where are you? Are you open? Yeah, you're open. Die! Oh, there's four of them. Ammo. Okay, the last one's way too far away. I'm just gonna laser this guy in the butt. I'm not... Come on, spin for me, you turtley bastard. Alternatively, you get the laser enema. The worst kind of enema. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, let's grab all that red. We need it. But like, the laser cannons, the laser rifles, the, uh, the satellite weaponry in this, they just feel really solid. I think in EDF-5, I felt powerful, but it didn't feel like, uh... The weapons didn't feel as good, or there was something like that. I, I'm trying to describe, trying to figure out how exactly. Well, like grenade launchers, for example. When I was using the anger in this game, I would point myself in a direction and everything in that general vicinity would burn. There would be no survivors. And I would just watch like everything wink out of existence in an immediate area. And it felt so good. Energy. And I realized that that's like not exactly the right way to judge game what is going on over there oh we beat it oh did it just leave no aggressive signals left in the mission area we won many sacrifices were made to get us here we will take Raznid down for those watching over us from above does this mission have a name Three, no two. I haven't oh. thought about that. How about Iron Rain? Even after they've passed, our people won't just stand there and watch over us. They'll rain down from the heavens as iron, the warmth of their souls giving us strength. They They're said so the thing. With us, officially declaring this mission Iron Rain. Objective to exterminate the mega giant creature Rasted. Now. Let's take back our Earth. I'll also be honest, with the EDF 5, it ended in a really conclusive manner, and I was very satisfied with it being done. This is actually going to be one of those that I'm going to be mildly disappointed uh, that we are done with the game. But yes, they did just say the thing. Uh, like this... I'm going to finish this game, and I'm going to want to play more, which is great. EDF soldiers. It's been a while. This is Livy. After pleading with the radio station, they've finally given me permission for this broadcast. For those listening, are you headed for the Raznid extermination mission? The United EDF fleet is luring Raznid to the west coast of America, where we are now. I heard that many soldiers lost their lives during this mission, including someone very dear to me. I heard that he passed off the shore of Hawaii, along with many volunteer soldiers from around the world. I don't know how he felt, but I believe that he, and all EDF soldiers the world over, everyone around the world, entrusted our future in the hands of this united mission in North America to defeat Raznid. All I can do now is pray. Everyone at EDF, please, defeat Raznid, and show the world that all our sacrifices were not in vain. Satellite weapon, rapid fire missiles, Kepler. Is that is that what I think it is? What you shopping for? No, it's not. It kind of is. It's got homing. Last radius ten, auto reload. 
So... I'm gonna grab that. I want to see if this is the weapon I, I think it is. And we'll go from there. So... I think we're finally getting those Air Raider weapons. That I'm really excited. Uh, so, there are really, really stupidly powerful Air Raider guns in 5. And they haven't been in this one, for the most part. There are a couple. Like, Spritefall obviously made a return, and whatever the, whatever the, the consistent beam is. Okay. Bombardment is about to make impact. It's pretty close. I mean, obviously I have to hold it down. It doesn't do the tag. Oh. Oh, that's way better, actually. No, it does do the tag. I just have to point it once, and then I don't have to... Oh. And then it just auto-reloads. Probably a better mission for someone like the, uh, the wing diver, where you can just fly off and be like, Well, this is dangerous. And just drop the missiles kind of where you are and then just bail. Like, that's actually a really good gun. It's it's not quite explodey enough, but that is also a D-rank gun. And it does 400 per strike. Like, that's actually Yo, really good. How's your finances going? The obvious the hu Hubble is just about as good in a lot of cases. Let's keep with these two for the time being. So, gathering at the high-rise area. So, we've got three missions left. Under a blue tarp, under the raised highway road, located directly ahead of your starting location. Okay, do I want to do this? No, I probably don't want the arabesque, too. We want something that's a little bit better at clearing groups of, groups of the, the little guys. I mean, I do have one option. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Alternatively, we could bring the Aya back. Aya wasn't bad. And I'm assuming the Grace. Oh, but the problem with the Aya was it didn't have enough oomph. If the Grudge Prome... What? Ah. 30 grenades, arched, oh, but it's a timed weapon. We do have the rodeo. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna bring the Hastings back. We'll just, we'll just do this. Cause yeah, there's a lot of the little flyer, flying spawn. And they're kind of tough to roll through without, uh, without something specific. And so hopefully maybe freezing them will do the trick. It's really tempting to actually bring two lasers along. Like, just go two laser cannons and just, like, cut through everything and hope for the best. It could work, or it could be kind of weak. I, I don't know. 